how to perform a QA test scan for a GE Lightspeed 16 slice. So first thing we're going to do is click on new patient here and our patient ID is going to be test. Click on enter and you're going to typically be on the user tab but you can scroll over to the GE tab and then you should see quality assurance down at the bottom. And if you see your red squares there that means you need to landmark so let's go inside the scan room get our laser alignment light button and that'll power on our lasers and it looks like we're a bit off so let's go in landmark there it looks like we're still a bit low Inside landmark, and that's going to give us our zeros at the top, and that should get rid of our red squares. So, and uh, click on confirm. Now you'll see a move to scan button if you're changing table locations. If not, you'll just see the start scan button eliminate. You should be good to start scanning. Let's give the rotor some time to spin up here, and then click that start button. So if you have your uh, screen on the right side set to auto, uh, you should be able to see your current exams here and just quickly review them just for artifact or any anomalies. Now as you can see, my images look good, free of artifact. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click on the next series here. Now every series has a different purpose. One might be to measure the water, mean value another one might might be for a uh, standard deviation here but every separate series has its purpose so you definitely want to run them all and do the proper analysis afterwards all right series is complete here let's click on next series confirm the scan button is illuminated go ahead and press that Prep delay will be six seconds. Start scan. So that means we're gonna wait six seconds before the series starts. Uh, most likely due to tube cooling issues. Or not issues, just uh, I guess compensation. All right, images look good. And as you can see, we're done with our exam here. So we can click on end exam. Complete. I'm gonna do my best not to violate any HIPAA rules here. So we're gonna click on Image Works. Keep it nice and zoomed in here. So Image Works, and then that'll change our screen over, and we can see that our Image Works database is right here. And we can click on our top exam, and we'll come over here to this side, and you can see that we have our four series plus our dose report that's generated automatically. We're gonna to come to viewer here, and that'll bring up the uh, viewer program. So from here, you can actually start scrolling through the images with this tab. Alternatively, you can use this tab here to scroll through your images, and then you can scroll to your next series. Focus this a little bit. Next series, and then you can even go from exam to exam. You can go to your first series, and that's going to be best used for your water mean value. So we like to use image 7. We've got a measure here. I'm going to take about a 400 square millimeter slice, and we're going to use that to measure all around. And as, as you can see, our mean is in spec. Uh, standard spec for water mean value is plus or minus 3. Uh, standard deviation doesn't really have a, uh, a value that's that's a maxima. It's really really more of a relevance. But uh, I've seen a lot of sites um, use standard deviation of five as their maxima for certain exams. Uh, but you really have to be careful with that. I would say it's a relevant value. Um, so we're gonna take this. And we can actually get a reading here in the middle. Go back down to 400. And then we'll get a reading up top. We'll get a reading at the bottom. We can get a reading on the right. We'll get a reading on the left. And we'll use those readings to actually calculate our average. 
and that looks good for me. Uh, another thing you can do is scroll through all the images and make sure that there's no ring artifact. Uh, no blurs, no anomalies here.